Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing the goodness of God. Last episode we talked about how we know that God is good. Today, is God the ultimate good? Some have said that if God is perfectly simple, as we suggested in episode 262, he can't also be the ultimate good, since the ultimate good would, of course, be something more than any ordinary good, and would therefore be the ordinary good plus something else. Therefore, he wouldn't be perfectly simple. However, the problem with this objection is that it's not as though God's goodness is a compound which is formed from the goodness of other things. God's goodness came first, and other lesser goods came about afterwards as imperfect reflections of the goodness of God. So the fact that lesser things can come into existence does nothing to harm the simplicity of God. There's also a belief that we can't compare the ultimate good of God with other goodnesses at all, since they're not even remotely of the same order. However, while God's goodness is definitely not of the same type as our own, still, he is the very standard and source of that goodness. To explain what this means, look at a ruler. A ruler has inches on it, and certainly, you can compare three inches to nine and say that nine is greater than three. We can't do this with God, since he's infinite and we're not, so we can't measure the goodness of God on any scale similar to our own. However, what we can do is recognize that God, being the source of all goodness, is the very standard of goodness itself. To use the ruler example again, God himself is like an infinite ruler by which goodness is measured, and no matter how many inches along the ruler you extend, you'll never be as great as the ruler itself. So we can conclude that God can be the ultimate good, and that we can make the comparison that our goodness is inferior to his, even if we can't determine precise percentages of relative goodness and such. The truth is, God's ultimate goodness is a simple goodness which encompasses and influences all other goodnesses. Everything we can desire flows from God as its root cause, and none of this is incompatible with the notion that lesser goods also exist. So, since God is perfectly good, and the source of all other goodnesses, we can conclude that he is the ultimate good. Next time, is anything but God necessarily good? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.